Good morning students. Today we are going to start chapter 3 more features of word 2016. And today's topic is first we will go with the introduction, find feature, then find and replace feature and paragraph formatting. So with the introduction Word 2016 is one of the most popular word processing software. It offers various features to create professional and eye-catching documents. And already you have learned how to edit and format text in Word document. So here we will study text to format paragraphs, columns and pages and print a document. First we will go with the topic that is find feature. Find feature lets you quickly search for a word or phrase in a long document. When you are working with longer documents, it can be difficult at times and time consuming to locate an, a specific word or phrase. Word can automatically search your document using the find feature. Find and replace feature. Find and replace feature lets you quickly search for a particular word or phrase and replace it with another in a, doc in a document. At times, you may discover that you have made a mistake repeatedly throughout your document, such as spelling mistakes of a person's name or uh, that you need to exchange a particular word or phrase for another. You can use words find and replace feature to quickly make revisions means to quickly change the text first we will see the steps to find text in a document so the first step is on the home tab in the editing group click the find the command or else you can press ctrl plus f on your keyboard the navigation pane will appear on the left side of the screen. In the navigation pane, type the text you want to find in the field at the top of the navigation pane. If the text is found in the document, it will be highlighted in yellow and a preview of the result will appear in the navigation pane. Alternatively, you can click one of the results below the arrows to jump to it. You can also click a result in the navigation pane to go to specific occurrence of the text in the document. Means, a word kitte baar repeat hua ye dekhne ke liye aap navigation pane mein dekh sakte ho. Means like the example here it is shown result 2 of 25. When you are finished, click the cross button close to navigation pane. The highlight will disappear. The next is how to replace the text in a document. First step, from the home tab, click the replace command. Alternatively, you can also press Ctrl plus H on your keyboard, which is a shortcut. The find and replace dialog box will appear up. In that, in the find what text box, type the text you want to replace. Third step, in replace with text box, type the new text with which you want to replace the text typed in the find what text box. Click the find next button. Word finds the first occurrence of the text to replace and highlights it. Fifth, do any of the following. That is, Click the find next button to leave the highlighted occurrence as it is and find the next occurrence of the existing text. Click the replace button to replace the existing text with the new text and move to the next occurrence of the text. Third, click the replace all button to replace all the occurrence of the existing text with the new text at one go. When word finds no more occurrences of the existing text with the 
a dialog box opens and the space we are finished searching the document the text will be replaced click the okay button to close the dialog box click the close button to close the find and replace dialog box the next topic is paragraph formatting a paragraph in word can contain one word one sentence or multiple sentences paragraph formatting lets you control the arrangement of text in a paragraph word offers various options such as alignment indentation line spacing and paragraph spacing to format a paragraph paragraph formatting can be applied to one paragraph at a time or multiple paragraph at the same time first one we will go with the alignment alignment defines the horizontal positioning of a paragraph between the left and the right page margins word 2016 offers four alignment options to format the paragraph that is align left align right center and justify you can see there is written control plus l control plus r control plus e control plus j they are the shortcut of these alignments and at the down you can see the images the first one is align left means it is aligns to the left margin align right it will be equal at the right margin align center it will be in the center and justifies means it will be aligned in the left and the right margin together align left it sets the beginning of each line of the paragraph with the left page margin by default word aligns each paragraph with the left page margin aligns right it sets the end of each line of the paragraph with the right page margin center it sets each line of the paragraph in the center of the left and the right page margins justify it sets the beginning of each line of the paragraph with the left margin and at the end of each line of the paragraph with the right margin the space between words in each line is adjusted automatically to change the alignment of the paragraph follow the steps position your cursor anywhere in the paragraph you want to align then go to the home tab in the paragraph group and click one of the alignment buttons word aligns the paragraph according to your selected option indentation indentation is the process of setting text of a line at a specified position from the page margins word 2016 offers four indentation option to format a paragraph that are left indentation right indentation first line indentation and hanging indentation left indentation it sets the position of a line in the paragraph from the left page margins right indentation it sets the position of all lines in a paragraph from the right page margin first line indentation it sets the position of the first line of a paragraph from the first from the left page margin keeping all other lines with the left margin hanging indentation it sets the position of all the lines of a paragraph except the first line from the left page margin in the image you can see first line indentation means uh, it will be moved backward and you can see the left indentation means uh, much space is given at the left side right indentation means much space is given at the right side hanging indentation means uh, the first line will be much more further 
than the other lines of the paragraph the steps to set indentation for a paragraph position the cursor anywhere in the paragraph you want to align on the home tab in the paragraph group click the dialog box launcher button the paragraph dialog box appears now here you can specify the value you want and select which type of indentation you want in you want like in the special it is given there will be three options none first line and hanging indentation and the left and right indentation you can increase and decrease the area and after doing the settings you can click okay button you can also set indentation for a paragraph with the help of a ruler then what is a ruler in the ms word when you are writing a document you can see there is a um, ruler given at the top of the page with the help of that ruler you can put set the indentation also you can drag an indent marker on the ruler to set the required indentation you can see in the picture that type of, that is known as ruler and by moving the part you can set first line indentation left indentation hanging indentation